what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below the song that's channeling is all i ask adele the part where she says and all I ask, if this is my last night with you, hold me like I'm more than just a friend. Hold my hand as we do what lovers do. Mm. Mm. I'm definitely feeling like there's an ending coming okay because somebody in the beginning of the song she's like i'll leave you alone i'll never say nothing but all i ask is if this is our last night with you hold me like i'm more than just a friend and hold my hand as we do what lovers do mm. Mm. I don't know if there was something that happened the last time you and this person were together. I don't know if there was something significant that happened the last time that you guys were together. But this is something that you think about. You know what I'm saying? Or it's almost like I'm seeing this in two ways. Like somebody might be having to leave a situation behind. Okay. And it's almost like if this is our last night, last night together, like somebody is, is making a choice, like a final decision, and it's hurtful, okay? And it's almost like if this is our last night together, please hold me like I was more than just a friend. This person could have made you feel like you were just a friend, which really hurt a lot, okay? Especially if they chose another situation, but we're going to do a you versus them. What's going on with them? All I ask is that you hold me like while we do what lovers do. Mm. And I'm hearing that lovers, you know, that means there's two people involved. Let's see, nine of cups, page of pentacles. This person is very, very smart. I don't know if they're choosing their career over um, or like money over you. This person feels like whatever other situation that they have, and I have to be honest with you guys, I can't lie. I can't just try to make this sound like daisies. I tell you that all the time, okay? I got to be honest with y'all. I can't play with my spirit guides like that. There's an energy of somebody, and whoever they're dealing with could be somebody that has a college degree, somebody that might um you know have something a little more going for themselves okay mm. and so it's almost like this person is really feeling confirmation with the train that this other person is going to bring them their wish fulfillment that with this other person their dreams will become reality i'm seeing this lamp on here like But I've never noticed this yin and yang. Mm, mm, mm. So there's an energy of them leaving you behind. And it's almost like a very, very bittersweet, sad energy. Because it's like maybe the two of you guys know this is your last night together or your last time together. Hmm, let's see what's at the bottom. Nine of Wands. Um, but it's like, you're willing to fight for this connection. I'm not even going to lie to you at the end of the day, especially with that song. All I ask is that you hold me more than we're, we were friends. Um, you and this person have been through a lot of shit. Look at how this person has a shield in front of them and shit's being thrown at them, right? It says, protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Environmental active. So there's an energy of... During this time, 
it's going to seem like there's going to be a lot of things thrown at you, okay? And what's crazy is that you might think that this is the last night that you and this person are going to be together, but it's not. Because here they come with the chariot, not wanting it to end with you, okay? They feel like they chose this other person, they're doing, they're making the right decision, and it's a very, very sad situation for the both of you guys. It's like, I feel it in the pit of my stomach, like two people holding each other, but knowing like this is the last time we're going to be together. And then the other energy over here, having to basically watch this person, and that could be what the chariot is. Yeah, Nick, like, cause see how the chariot is riding away from that nine of wands. It's almost like whoever this other person is, who's been, it, it, it hurt. Like this person chose this other situation, basically money wise, whatever they thought that it make bring them wish fulfillment. And what it did with the nine of wands, it hurt this other person, made this person defensive, made them have be guarded. And there's going to be a lot of things thrown that person's way when they have to watch this other person that they were in love with ride off into the sunset with somebody else. And I've just got to be honest, okay? Um, Spirit wants you to embrace your freedom, though. Because now that you don't have this person weighing you down, you do have the freedom to do whatever the fuck you want. Spirit wants you to be proud of yourself regardless. It's almost like this person made your, you feel like they chose this other person because you didn't have as much or you didn't have enough. But you can't buy love. You can't buy a vibe. You can't buy true feelings for somebody, right? With this infinity sign and then me seeing this yin-yang that I never seen, you and this person have always gone around and around in circles with one another in infinity but what goes around comes around this person yeah i'm gonna be honest they're choosing maybe somebody that is more maybe this person went to college maybe they got them a degree maybe they had a family that's better off whatever it is you know they chose this other person thinking that it'd make them happier and their wishes will be fulfilled but money can't buy happiness and what they're not realizing is it's going to damage you so motherfucking bad watching them ride off in the sunset with somebody else. Yeah, five of swords. An unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happy. Avoid people who lack integrity or have questionable actions. So at the end of the day, this person was only fucking with this other person to get what they wanted. Look at how this person's at this card table and they're sneaking off with these chips and shit, stealing like a motherfucker, okay? This person was literally spirit come through only with this other person to get what they could out of this person. But they made a very, very unwise choice because what they did in the process is they damaged the fuck out of you. You had to watch them move forward and use somebody else knowing that they're in love with you. And now it's like watching how this person has treated this other person. It's like you see now that this person lacks integrity. You know this person has questionable motives because they've been honest with you about how they've treated this other person. I'm only with them for this and this. This is why I'm making this choice. This is like, so it's like, you know this person lacks integrity. You know this person has questionable motives. There was such a better way for you and this person to be so to be so much happy, to be happy together, but instead they made an unwise choice. They knew the other way would make them happier, but instead they chose this this schemey ass way. And with the star spirit wants you to know bottom of the deck have faith the future is bright dreams come true positive changes bring an end to challenging times the light at the end of the tunnel spirit is saying you're finally coming into balance 
regardless of what you you've seen or you've been through and how emotionally up and down that you have been because of this person finally spirit you are pouring into yourself and it's like you're the motherfucking star you're the motherfucking prize you're the one that's going to have the recognition and have the sun shine down upon you and the blessings shine about down upon you so spirit wants you to keep the faith yeah they know you've been through a lot yeah, they know you had to watch somebody else move on, knowing that they were in love with you, but instead they chose money and bullshit and being sneaky over loving you and damaged you in the process. But the future is bright for you. There's positive changes coming to you. Whatever these challenging times that this person has put you through are about to be balanced out and, and you're coming to the end of those dark times. With that says the light at the end of the tunnel, these dark times that you have, have been through are about to come to a motherfucking end. Because look at under that. Because you're the motherfucking empress. Divinely protected. Highly favored. Spirit ain't playing about you. Yeah, what happened hurt. But spirit had to let you see that. Yeah, you wanted this person to lay up like you're more than friends. But at the end of the day, while you watch them ride off in the sunset with somebody else, at the end of the day, you will, will you'll be blessed regardless. The star and the empress. Bro, the universe is protecting you on another level. On a level that not too many people can touch. Seriously. So pour into yourself keep remembering that you're the motherfucking prize when it comes to this situation if there's some dreams that you have put them to fruition right now you are the empress you are the one that will be very excess successful abundant and prosperous you know why you know why because they chose this other person who had this college degree or this rich family and they thought you weren't enough you wouldn't be able to have their give them their wish fulfillment and all that they want, right? And so it hurt. It put you through pain. But that trauma made you wiser. Spirit did that on purpose. Spirit wanted to humble you. Spirit wanted to see you to see who didn't deserve to sit at your motherfucking table while they rode off into the sunset with this other person that they thought was gonna be their blessing and make them happy. Hmm, karma sucks. Because on both of these cards, it's you come in with financial stability, the future looking bright, dreams coming through, the light at the end of this dark tunnel, abundance and prosperity, any creative projects being extremely successful. This person is going to, and whoever this person is, they might have just had a richer family or just like a better job or some bullshit like that. No, nah, you're blessed for something. I'm telling you, the star and the empress, you are blessed for something greater. And now the karma is that they chose another situation thinking that it was going to bring them for money, thinking it was going to bring them happiness and hurt the person that they love. And now the person that they love is over here prosperous as fuck. I'm telling you, this is like sitting on beaches, sipping mimosas type shit. Taking vacations type shit. Not worrying about the bill at the end of dinner type of shit. Hmm. They fuck themselves. Look, by releasing you. By releasing you endings that lead to new beginnings and the need to release a situation or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation and that's what the fuck they did. This person held you back from being that star and that empress. There was an ending but it led to a new beginning for you because you might have been doing bad at this time. You might have had less than this other person. And because of that it made you feel less than. But spirit was like, no, 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 child, you're blessed. You ain't even got to try. We got your back. We got your back. And so that's why this ending led to a new beginning for you. You might have been doing bad then, but you ain't who you used to be. When you had to watch them ride off in the sunset with something else, with somebody else, somebody you love, watch out, go off with somebody else for money, that changed you. And the karma is that now you won't be blessed abundantly with money. 
And now that they want to, <laughs> they've changed you. Releasing this situation. The need to release this situation that you felt, uh, this person that held you back. They held you back from your, your spiritual blessings. And through what they're doing, all this shit that was thrown at you, all this pain, with them riding off with someone else being sneaky just to get what they want, it led to a spiritual transformation to you, for you. And that's why you're coming in as the empress. You started seeing yourself for your own worth. You started pouring into yourself. And you started seeing that everything started going better when this person's energy left your motherfucking life. And so now you're starting to realize that maybe you do need to release these situations or these people that have been holding you back. See, but this person is, mm -mm, keep your strength, okay? Spirit wants you to be strong. Okay, because this person wants a piece of that pie, King of Pentacles. This person will do anything they can to have a piece of that pie. They hurt your feelings. They ruined your soul. They didn't give a fuck. They moved on with somebody else over some money. And now they're willing to do the same thing to that other person to come back towards you to have a piece of that abundance. Okay, and so Spirit is saying they really need you to have the strength right now to say no, no. No, they're going to try to be emotionally manipulative. They're going to try to be emotionally manipulative. Okay, but this person is unemotional. They're detached. They're not truly attached to you nor this other situation. And I'm going to be really honest with you about that. I got to talk to you as a friend. They're not attached to you nor this other situation with that king of swords. This is their karmic justice. Spirit is saying, be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe in. Try to see all sides of the situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. You will be in your winning season. Don't give in to them and their bullshit. Because they're coming in because with their unemotional, detached, fake ass to play mind games just so that they can get a piece of that pie. And Spirit is saying, no, nah, we need you to have strength. And we don't need you to go back and forth with this person and give them none of your energy. Because if you stand in a place of integrity, those blessings are going to start falling in. Look, look, I'm going to take this. The end of a challenging time, the six of swords. That's moving on, right? That's moving out of a dark place. That's finally having the strength to move forward. The end of a challenging time. Things are looking up. A welcome relief, finding your way to a peaceful place, the end of depression or an illness, travel or relocation. Didn't I just say, I mean, this is like sitting on the beach sipping mimosas type of shit. These challenging times that this person has put you through is over. Things are about to, and yeah, they might have left you in this state of like, because you know, these people on this boat look like they just out here with just a blanket struggling, okay? They might have left you in a place like that. But hell no, nah, things are about to start looking up for you. And it's going to be such a welcome relief because it's like, thank you, universe. Keep the faith because the universe is about to show you. You're on your way to a peaceful motherfucking place in the end of this depression and bullshit and all this shit that this person put you through. You're going to be traveling. You're going to be relocated. You're going to be doing good. Look, you're going to be happy as shit. The sun is going to be shining on you. A, a time of great joy and success, epiphanies, magical opportunities, gratitude to the divine. Things being so motherfucking good for you, but look it for them. Because And this is the last one I'm going to take because this one's in the reverse. The five of cups. Now look at them sitting here, standing alone, looking up at the air, looking stupid as hell. We know the five of cups is sadness, depression. Focusing on the negative. Things didn't turn out the way they anticipated. You damn right. Spirit come through. Things damn sure didn't turn out the way they anticipated. Because they chose somebody else thinking they were better. Thinking they were better. And made you feel like you were less than. Then Spirit said, nah child. Look at how, look at how, how, what we finna do for you. And your come up was like that. And they didn't expect that. And now you on top. I'm talking about, I'm telling you, vacationing, first class type shit. And they over here standing alone like, damn, the person I was in love with, that two of cups that was standing behind me and had my motherfucking back, 
I turn my back on that to focus on these other energies for those third parties. And now these two, two cups back here are full. So now whoever this is, they're focusing on the negative. They're miserable as fuck because things didn't turn out the way they thought. You finally forgiven yourself, okay? And you've realized that everything happened for a reason. For a time you wondered why did this person choose somebody else over me? Why do I have to want, why do I gotta go through this? And now it's like you're in a good place. You finally realized everything happens for a re reason. There was hidden blessings in all of this shit. In all of this shit to show you who didn't deserve to sit at your table. And at the end of the day, this is a soulmate connection, but they turned their back on it. And so now, like I said, energy always changes. I'm the storyteller, but right now, things ain't turning out very good for them. They're in a very negative energy. And they're going to watch the sun shine upon you moving forward happily. All right? That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.